it's always a sad day when you have to take the golf clubs out of the truck. <laughs> it is 12.45 a.m. We just got back with this uh, load of goats, so we're gonna get them unloaded in this little small pen tonight, and then tomorrow we will start working with them. Come on, girl, get up. I know, you want to go to sleep. Come on. Come on. This is your new home. Here you go. This one might be bread. Yeah, some of these are really skinny. We'll take care of them. Yeah, the chickens and the turkeys here. Um, we'll put them somewhere so they don't get rained on, in case it gets it rains or something. But we'll leave them for tonight. We have to move Rocky here out of this pen. We're putting the goats in here tonight. This is one of the fun things of having a farm. You got to work at one o'clock in the morning, moving animals around. Welcome back to Boyle Family Farms. We've got a lot on the agenda today. We just got in a herd of goats uh, late last night. We're gonna work with those. We're gonna give them their shots, give them their medicine, uh, play with them a little bit to tame them down. And what else do we have on the agenda for today, Emma? We're gonna let the Highlanders out of quarantine. Yes, we're gonna let the Highlanders out of quarantine into the main pasture. Also, we have to do a couple more things. We wanna move our chicken house to a better location and redo that. Then also we have to do some maintenance around the property and also uh, work with our turkeys a little bit. Some of these goats here are pretty skinny and they uh, aren't in the best health. We're going to uh, give them some medicine. We're gonna fatten them up. Uh, unfortunately, we probably won't be able to keep all of them, uh, but we, we wanted to take all of them just to get them healthy and uh, back on track. But I wanted to show you a little thing about a goat as well. As you can see, this goat is, is not in the best health as far as fatness and just overall health. You can kind of tell that also by the horns here. Um, if you look at her horns closely, you'll see all these imperfections in it and kind of these waves. And this is an indicator of her, her health uh, as she grew these horns. And it's mainly her nutritional uh, uh, diet is what causes these imperfections. And so when you see an animal with really smooth horns, that's a good indicator of a healthy animal and that's been healthy its whole life. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. Obviously, we're gonna get her back on track and she'll be fine. But whenever you're buying that animal, if you're looking for one that was raised healthy, it's always gonna have those smooth horns. Good girl. The other thing about horns here is you see the billy here has got some wide horns. These are the same breed of goats, but you look at the difference in their horns. This one is a uh, more skinny, which is a nanny, a girl. A billy, a, of course a boy goat, is gonna have bigger ones. The billy goats use their horns for fighting, during, especially during mating season. You'll see them fighting a lot. And nannies, they use their horns more for protection, usually from the billies during mating season. But if you ever see a goat, uh, we actually have a couple, without horns, that is 95% of the time is not natural. It's when people have them, they prefer not to have horns. They actually take a hot sear and they sear them when they're just a couple days old. And that is the only, usually the only way you find a goat without any horns. But we're just kind of, we just caught these and we're trying to catch them and tame them down so that um, hopefully we can fatten them up and get them friendly. Uh, here in the next couple weeks. Good morning, girls. You guys ready to get released out of quarantine? Now you girls are gonna be able to go in the river, in the pond. You won't have to lay in the water puddle. You're free. Go, come on. Come on, Petunia. There you go. Good girl. All right, go out the gate. Gate's open. What's up, Tom? Come on. That way. Come on. Come on, guys. Tom, you don't get a good escape yet, buddy. Come on. That's some sweet feed. They're looking at that pond. They're pretty excited. He's going right for it. Right toward it. 
You need some? There you go. Good girl. Hi. You want some too? Alex, what are you doing? I can still see you. The pond back there. keep your turkeys from flying away, you want to trim their wings. You just want to be very careful not to trim above these feathers here. Never trim these feathers. Only trim these ones that grow out here. And you also only want to trim one side. Tom's excited. He's got some new girlfriends. Oh, food outranks his girlfriends. Alex, we still see you. We can still see you. Bring that over there. Should be big enough for now. If you're building a temporary pen like this for some animals, these hog panels are great. Get some zip ties. And this way, when we have our animals in here, we can uh, move it around every couple days so they're always getting fresh grass and they're not sitting here in, in some nasty uh, area. Um, but zip ties are the, the best way to go with just some hog panels. It's quick and easy. All right, we got our two new pigs here. We're gonna raise these up here on the farm. These are two girls. One of the things when you're building a pig pen like this, uh, of course, we're gonna move this around every couple of days, but pigs have to have somewhere to get out of the sun and they have to have constant water. Pigs do not have the ability to sweat. So when you see, I don't know if you've ever seen a picture online or something of a pig that their skin is just completely cracked. That is because they don't have access to water. So they always have to have water. And you even want to come, we'll, we'll uh, leave a water hose out here and we'll spray the ground every day just to give them a, a moist uh, ground to lay on. And of course they have shade. And then of course this little, this little water bucket here that they're fighting over. Hey girls. You want to get on the tractor with me? Okay. Hey, Tyler, go move the truck for me, please.
get this one set up over here behind this shed. We'll clip it onto this fence over here. All right, get those clips right here. Anybody yeah, got those clips? Thank you. All right, let's just clip this one here. I'll put one more on the bottom. All right, grab that side, Andy. Let's carry it over here. Look at Andy helping. Good job, Andy. All right, let's put it on the back of the shed here. All right, let's clip this to the top here. We should be good. I'm going to put a clip on the top there. All right. Here, Andy. Help me put this clip on. What? The last one. What one? We just finished moving our chicken pen over here. And we put up this fence here. This fence is a great uh, temporary fence. You get these clips here from, they're about a dollar at the hardware store. You get your bowl panel. So these two were our existing fences. So we just put this bowl panel here. Now these little clips, you just take these clips, clip them like this onto your existing fence or wherever you're, you're going. And now, in the next couple of days, we can move this fence to, to continue to give our chickens and ducks fresh grass every day. And then here, you make a little gate. You overlap your panels here. This is a nice, easy one to open. The kids can open this. Can you go in? Open it. You going in? All you have to do is put it back. Put your clamp on, and there you go. It is so hot out here in Southwest Florida. It is, the feel like temperature is 111 right now. I think it's time to take a break and go get in the river. While we're here playing in the river, we came and inspected our river crossing here, and we noticed our uh, it's kind of half washed out, and it's kind of uh, the sun's going down. I don't have time today to, to uh, redo all this. That's why it's important to keep extra cattle panels and zip ties handy. It's a quick repair uh, just to put this up, make sure nothing gets out, and then we'll come back here in a couple days and, and redo all this. All right, we got this all zip tied up. Of course, this is not a, a permanent fix, but this will last a couple of days until we can find time to get back out here and redo all this. What's up, Andy? You wanna take your life jacket off? <laughs> <laughs> 